this is Joe and this is Woody and they're going to show us the inside of this King Air. Okay, a 1976 King Air A100, Super King Air. It's, uh, this uh, machine doesn't require a tight because it, it grosses out at 11,500 pounds. Weighs a little over 6,100 pounds empty. Holds about 4,100 and something pounds of fuel, 470 gallons. Its sweet spot is around 20,000. It's not the uh, highest flying or the fastest King Air, but its uh, best nautical air miles per pound of fuel is about 19 to 21,000. So eastbound we're cruising at 190 and westbound at 200. That means it's best miles per gallon. It goes about 235 to 240 knots true and it burns 95 gallons an hour to do that. Cool. Okay. All right, I'm climbing cool. in. You going first? Well, I guess. All right. You don't want to see my plumbers. No. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Here goes Penny. Because she, of course, has to go in too. Whoa. So there's the cargo area. This is where Maria would have to sit back That's here. That's the body seat back there. Oh, I see. Yeah. There you go. Toilet under there. If you use that in flight for someone to sit on, you could stuff nine people in here. But uh, okay. it rolls uh, probably five comfortably. Huh. Got a three-person bench seat, which it would be crowded. Of course, it's pressurized, so you don't have to uh, worry about wearing an O2 mask. If you can find your yep, way up I'm here, gonna Maria. See up there. Here we go. It's powered by two. Uh, here we go. Pratt and Whitney PT6-34 engines, and I believe they're like seven, 730 to 750 shaft horsepower. I forget, but these are derated to 680 shaft horsepower. Very cool. Here's the old 3D uh, Collins flight director, I believe it is. But the, the, the panel is somewhat dated, a mixture of mm. steam gauges and a little bit of glass. It has an Apollo GPS driving an MX-20 moving map up there. Mm -hmm. An old Bendix radar. Hmm. Uh, this one's been converted, it's got ADS-B out, Very but cool. not in. And uh, once it is, we do get it fired up. Of course, we've got air conditioning and it's- uh, Which it definitely needs right now. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a pretty comfortable there. ride. It's a little squeezy to get into the seats, especially for an old fat guy like me. But uh, <laughs> And for Joe, who's so tall, he doesn't fit in anything, but he can squeeze in here quite rapidly. Yeah. Fuel panel is over on the left sub-panel sub side. The flight group, of course. And then our engine gauges right to the right of that. Mm -hmm. uh, ITT and uh, fuel flow torque meters. So you sit in the left. Yeah, come on, PIC seats on the left. Right. And of course, it can be flown single pilot because it doesn't require a, right. a uh, type rating. Okay. Unless it was being flown like part 135, you probably have to have a co-pilot. There's an interesting little deal, our little, our little uh, relief tube. Oh yeah, there you go. Where's that? Laying on the floor. Oh, oh man. <laughs> So it has a yeah. little lever on it, you push it and it vents to the outside of being pressurized. Yeah, that's how it goes uh, your business. It's for men. <laughs> men only, yeah. Men only. Alright. So let's turn Our map case is here. Oh yeah, there you go. Little storage bins here. And then looking back this way. This is owned by <laughs> some friends of mine. And it's definitely a utilitarian vehicle. It's so where'd it's you put there. all the animals? Huh? Where did you put all the animals? Well, when we brought the animals up, we had three dogs. Yogi on the floor there. Yeah. Uh, Where Penny is, right here. What was his name? Worthington on the bench seat. And Storm, we had chained up back here. And then the cats were neat. We had five cat cages. One in each seat. In the party seat. Oh, man. Okay, so that's the inside of... It's nice. It's got polarized here. windows. Oh, nice. That's very cool. <laughs> It is really cool. But it's their aerial F-350 truck is what it is. They're always hauling equipment and personnel around in their boat and their business. All right, and that's it coming out. It is a little tight in there, but man, I wouldn't complain. And that and is... Each, each uh, engine to sell lends back to a wing locker so you can put more supplies on these wing oh, lockers. Oh, very cool. Yep. Is there in there? 
Uh, nope, he's underneath. Yogi. He, no, he's underneath. Oh, okay. So, okay. Thank you very much for that tour of the Cairn. Okay. Take care.